Introduction Hey Sahil, can you tell me the area of this park? Yeah, it is very easy. This park is circular in shape. So if we know the radius of this circle, we can calculate its area using a formula pi r square. Hmm, you are quite intelligent Sahil. Let me ask one more question. Can you tell the surface area and volume of this dustbin? Hmm, I don't know how to calculate the surface area and volume of any cylindrical object. Are you interested to know the surface area and volume of these kinds of objects? Yes, I want to know. Children, in this lesson mensuration, we will learn to calculate the surface area and volume of some 3D objects. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to recall three-dimensional objects, find the surface area of a cube, cuboid, and a cylinder, learn about the volume of solids such as cube, cuboid, and cylinder. Hey, can you recall these shapes? Yes, these are three-dimensional because these have length, breadth, and height. Soaps, toys, paste, snacks, etc. often come in the packing of cuboidal, cubical, or cylindrical boxes. Let us learn about their surface area and their volume. Look at this cube. It is easy to see that the cube has six sides and each side is a square. Now to derive the formula of the surface area of a cube, let the length of one side be A. Since there are six sides, so the total surface area is A square into 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 A square, which is equal to 6A square. Let us do an example. This is a cube having length of each side equal to 5 centimeters. So its surface area will be 6A square. Substituting the value of A, we get 6 into 5 into 5, which is equal to 150 square centimeters. Just guess the shape of brick, chalk box, geometrical box, matchbox, and a book. That's right. These are all examples of cuboids. A cuboid has six rectangular plane surfaces called faces. So you can say ABCD, ABEF, BCHF, EFHG, ADGE, and DCHG are the faces of the given cuboid. Two adjacent faces that meet along a line segment is called an edge. It can be seen that a cuboid has 12 edges in all. A cuboid has 8 corners called the vertices. A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H are the vertices of the cuboid. Let A, B, B, L, A, E, B, B, and A, D, B, H. Then the total surface area of cuboid is equal to the sum of the areas of six faces A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, D, G, E, B, C, H, F, A, B, F, E, and D, C, H, G, which is LH plus LH plus BH plus BH plus LB plus LB. Therefore, total surface area of a cuboid is equal to 2 into LB plus BH plus HL. All right, let us take an example. You are seeing this cuboid which has length equals to 6 centimeters, breadth equals to 3 centimeters, and height equals to 4 centimeters. Calculation of its surface area 
is not difficult at all because now we know its formula. Now we substitute all the value here and this gives us surface area of this cuboid which is equal to 108 square centimeters. You must have come across many solids like thin cans, water pipes, beakers in the laboratory, powder box which are right circular cylinders. Here you would wonder what is a right circular cylinder. A right circular cylinder is a solid generated by the revolution of a rectangle about one of its side which remains fixed and the ends or bases of a right circular cylinder are congruent circles. Well, to find the total surface area of a cylinder, we must calculate the area of the two bases and the rectangle. The area of one circle is pi r square. So, for two circles, you get 2 pi r square. Let us take a closer look at our rectangle. As this rectangle is being folded, this side becomes the perimeter of the resulting circles. Thus, the folded side of the rectangle must be equal to 2 into pi into r, which is the circumference of the circle. To get the area of the rectangle, multiply h by 2 into pi into r, and that is equal to 2 into pi into r into h. Therefore, the total surface area of the cylinder is equal to 2 into pi into r square plus 2 into pi into r into h. Let us find the surface area of this cylinder. It is given that this cylinder has radius equal to 7 centimeters and height equal to 12 centimeters. Do you remember the formula for calculating the total surface area of a cylinder? Yes, it is equal to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h. Now substitute the values in this formula. So, 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 into 7 plus 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 into 12. This gives surface area of this cylinder which is equal to 836 centimeters square. The volume of an object is the amount of space it takes up. As we know, all the sides of a cube have the same length. Suppose this cube has length L. To find the volume of the cube, we just need to multiply the area a with L. Hence, by multiplying these three L's together, we get L cube. Therefore, the formula for the volume is V is equal to L cube. Alright, let's take a look at an example. Here we have a cube having length of each side equal to 3 centimeters. Let us find its volume. To solve this, we need to use the formula V is equal to L cube. Now since we know the length of each side of this cube is 3 centimeters, we can substitute L with 3. Next, 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 3 multiply by 3 multiply by 3. This gives 27. Let's write it here. Since the unit for the length is in centimeter, the unit for the volume will be cubic centimeter. Hence, the volume of this cube is 27 cubic centimeters. So children, now you can also work on similar problems in this way. Look at this cuboid. We know it's a three-dimensional shape having dimensions length, breadth and height. It's very simple and easy to calculate the volume of a cuboid. Just multiply height, breadth and length of the cuboid and you will get the volume of a cuboid. Let us work out the volume of this cuboid. 
the three dimensions are given to us. Calculating volume of this cuboid is fairly easy. Just multiply all the three numbers. So the volume of this cuboid is 200 centimeter cube. Now students, we will calculate the volume of this cylinder, which is very easy to calculate. This cylinder has radius R and height H. Well, for calculating volume, we will multiply area of a base with the height. So, volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r square h. Well, let us try an example. We have a closed right circular cylinder of radius 7 centimeters and height 10 centimeters. Let us find its volume. We know the formula for volume of a cylinder is pi r square h. Now we need to substitute the values here. So, 22 by 7 into 7 into 7 into 10. This gives 1540 cubic centimeters. Therefore, volume of this cylinder is 1540 cubic centimeters. Summary let us summarize what we have learned. The sum of the areas of the plane figures making up the boundary of a solid object is called its surface area. Surface area of a cuboid is equal to 2 into LB plus BH plus HL. Surface area of a cube is equal to 6L square. Surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi r into r plus h. The volume of an object is the amount of space it takes up. Volume of a cuboid is equal to L into b into h. Volume of a cube is equal to L cube Volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r square h.